Hey you guys, welcome to my human hair soft lock tutorial. You may have found this video on Instagram or TikTok and I will actually be showing you guys exactly step by step on how I created this hair. It is super beginner friendly and I will be showing you guys everything you need on this next clip. Don't worry about screenshotting at all because all of these items will be linked and listed in the description box. For you to purchase and you might already have a lot of these items in your home as well so let's get started these are what the locks look like prior to me dipping them a lot of people ask me questions in my tiktok comments on if i dip them first if i added the hair first but honestly it does not matter i have no preference i think if you do either options they will come out the same but I personally added my human hair in first and then I dipped them. But if you do want to dip them first and then add the human hair, I see no problem with that and you will get the same results. So I will be showing y'all what kind of hair that I used to get this look. But please don't think that it is required to have the exact hair that I have this is just the look I was going for and you can go for any look that you want with whatever human hair you want but this is just my method on how I actually created this this can be done with synthetic hair and this can be done with human hair but I personally think using human hair is the best so here I'm just really going to get into what hair I use for my personal locks this is one bundle of body wave hair this hair came straight from a bundle that I had. It was old and I cut it straight from the webs. When cutting hair straight from the webs, you want to make sure you're holding on to it tight because the hair will slip out of your hands. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will see if you don't hold it tight. This next texture is my deep wave hair. This hair was cut from a wig and it can be used still the same way as a bundle. As y'all can see, I didn't have it tight and this is what will happen if you don't hold on to the hair tight. So when you are cutting it from the, the weft, the trap, please hold on to it tight, y'all, please. Now, this next texture that I did use is deep curly on the right hand side. This was also cut from another wig. And as y'all can see, the hair is the same length and I am holding it very tight at the top. I'm showing y'all here, this is the side or the end that I cut from the tracks and this is the side that you want to crochet your hair into. Now, again, I will mention, you don't have to use three different textures of hair. This is just what I wanted to do. If you just wanna use one texture or two texture, please feel free to do that. These are your locks and they will be custom to you, so don't feel the need to do what I did. Now, these are all the products that was listed in that very first screen you guys saw at the beginning of this video. This is the Marley hair that will be used to wrap around your locks and to secure those human hair pieces. The next clip is a crochet needle. These can be purchased at your local beauty supply store or Amazon. It will be listed. Don't worry. This next clip is... um a wide tooth comb you probably have this already scissors you probably have this already a lot of body moves i personally love this brand and this is the only brand i use for all of my curly hair and then also this is the nail glue that you need um i know it's kind of out of frame a little bit but i promise it will be linked in the description box you will need some sort of sticky gel this is the gel that i use i think shine and jam will also work as well so don't freak out if you don't see this in your local beauty supply store and these are the locks that i purchased from amazon these are 22 inches and by the time i added in all my human hair my hair was about 40 inches so please be careful where you pl pr place your locks because they can get extremely long extremely fast now this is just another picture of the locks and what they look like this is one bundle i did off of camera and here i will just start to get into how i actually started crocheting them in so i took a little bit of that braid and formula again you can use shine and jam as well and you want to put it on the end the closest end to where you cut it from the weft now with your crochet needle you want to point it down that will be my rule of thumb and something you will hear me repeat often in this video make sure that crochet needle is pointed down y'all please and i'll let y'all know why now when i do crochet 
the hair in down with the crochet needle down I always leave about a one inch allowance of room of the human hair because this will be used to kind of anchor slash lack onto when I do start wrapping the hair this is me showing you what the hair will look like if you crochet the hair up you always want it to flow down because you want it to flow in the direction of your hair and that's down now here I'm just showing you guys I have a firm grip with my index finger and my thumb to hold on to that one inch space allowance because if y'all don't hold this tight I will tell you they will slip out they will fall out the moment you run your finger through it they will come out it is imperative that you use your index finger and your thumb to tightly hold on to that one inch of human hair you then want to take that marley hair that will be linked in the description box and you want to use one inch of that so you should have one inch in one hand and the rest of it should be in the other hand and you want to use that one inch to wrap around the one inch of human hair that you left out this is kind of creating a lock in a sense you see i am using my thumb and my index finger and i am not letting go of that human hair because i want it to be firm and i want it to be tight the moment y'all let that go too prematurely you will wrap your hair all the way down and your human hair will not be secured so please hold on to it tight once you get to the end of your wrapping you want to take that nail glue that will be listed in the description box put a small drop on there and then rub the lock and the human hair in between your hands this method and your tightly wrapping method will ensure that your human hair goes nowhere and you will be able to brush through your locks finger comb your locks and you will not lose any hair trust me y'all i did one bundle off camera and i was able to observe all of the errors that i made so when i say this I mean it please make sure you are wrapping it very tight and you are applying a generous amount of glue this is how you get your human hair to stay now here I am showing you placement of the human hair at the end of the lock this is what's going to make your locks long so if you don't want your locks long I do not recommend putting the human hair directly at the end this is the reason why my hair is roughly 40 inches and 40 inches inches it's cute I love it but I often sit on my hair so if you don't want to run into that problem please use shorter human hair or don't put human hair at the end of these locks I sped up that last clip with how I wrapped it I added the glue and again you want to rub it in the palms of your hand and this will ensure that that lock won't go anywhere now here I am showing you guys I did two pieces of human hair per lock you can do as many or as less as you want so please don't feel pressure to pressure to fill a lock up full of human hair if you want to do that you can but I will tell you this is extremely time consuming I did this and I probably watched at least two to three movies until I was complete with this entire process so please just allow time to do this because it takes a long time and it's very time consuming as you can see I had that one inch room allowance of the human hair and the one inch room allowance of the wrapping hair and I am holding it very firmly with my thumb and my index finger because that will lock my hair in I put a drop of glue and I am then going in and rubbing it in between my palms this will ensure that your lock does not go anywhere as y'all can see right here it slipped right out I didn't have it tight enough that goes to show what will happen if you do not do it tight off camera I did rewrap that lock and that is the same lock I'm holding up as you can see it's in there it's secure it's not going anywhere so this is what my second bundle looks like they are in no traditional or particular order y'all y'all can place this human hair wherever you like I am now going in and clipping the ends of my locks because this will just take away a little bit of the length when I am adding that human hair at the very end of my locks. This clip here, I am just placing all of the human hair on a bunch of my locks and this is just a method that I'm using to work smarter and not harder. I fed in about two pieces of human hair per lock and then I went in and followed up with me actually wrapping the hair you can use either method 
But this is just the method that worked for me and saved me a little bit of time. And throughout this whole thing, y'all have seen me have the crochet needle pointed down at all times. Do not point your crochet needle up, please. Now here, this is me applying that braid and gel. This is the only reason why you need the braid and gel. It's just so the human hair sticks all together while you crochet it into the lock. Here I have about three bundles done and it's looking pretty full. I love the way it came out, but I still had about three more bundles to do from this video right here. So this is an up close clip right here of me showing you guys how the needle needs to be pointed down. I told y'all I would keep repeating it because it's so important. I left about an inch of room allowance and after I fed in all of this hair, I went in and wrapped it very tightly. A few key things to take away. Please make sure your index finger and your thumb is pinching and holding your lock and the human hair at the same time. Because if you do not do this, your human hair will slip and fall right out those locks and you will be repeating what you did all over again. And this will cause for you to spend more time on these locks. Now, I am now dipping the hair. Like I said in the beginning, you can dip your locks before or you can dip them after. It doesn't matter. And those are just all the supplies that I use. I took a pot of oil and water, so please be careful with doing this. I dip my locks once or twice and then I let them rest on a towel. Letting them rest on the towel will allow the towel to absorb all of the water and I did pour a cap full of apple cider vinegar into this water as well because synthetic hair does make my scalp itch. Once I dried all of the locks, I let them hang vertical from my wig stand and I applied lots and lots of mousse. I apply mousse because this is going to tame a lot of the frizziness and will activate the curly hair that I used. Again, if you are doing this method with body wave hair, I don't think mousse would be appropriate, but since y'all see I have curly slash wavy hair, that is why I am using mousse. You then want to take that hard bristle brush, you should have this in your home, and you want to brush your locks up and brush them down. Don't worry if you do see the human hair tangling. If you have 100% virgin hair, you can brush the hair right back out and they should not budge, they should not move, and they should detangle very freely and very easily. I do go in and brush all of my locks for about 10 minutes because I wanted mine super, super distressed. So you can do this as you see fit. I went in with my blow dryer and diffuser attachment to just really dry the hair. And you can do this, I did it about 50% dry and then I went in and let it dry naturally for the remainder of the day. And I will show you guys what my locks look like once they were 100% dry. These locks are beautiful for the summertime and they are very low cost and budget friendly hairstyle. And it's beginner friendly and these are what my locks look like once they have 100% dried. As y'all can see, they look absolutely flawless. I think everyone should try this style out before the summer ends because I have been getting so many compliments on my hair and I have just gave all of y'all the keys and the tools to complete this same exact style. If you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them in the comment section. I will be responding to every single person. And if you do need help as well and don't understand something, please reach out. Bye.